Hi, it's John from the Rigid Schoolhouse. Today we're going to talk about the RP-115 press tool. It's our newest press tool that's available on the market right now. This is going to be one of your smaller capacity tools. It's very, very lightweight, compact. It's going to have a capacity of half inch and three quarter copper Pro Press and also half and three quarter Vega's Pure Flow for their PEC system. So the RP-115 mini tool also has a swiveling head on it. It is designed to swivel up to 210 degrees. It puts out about 3,300 pounds of ram force. There is a hydraulic release feature on the back of the tool itself. If for some reason you were running that tool and you needed to get it off that piece, that fitting, you can actually press down on that. It releases the hydraulics, but make sure you go back to the fitting and complete that press. This tool uses a rigid proprietary 12 volt battery comes with a charger in one battery, two jaws, or you can order it as a set with the four jaws, which also includes the pure flow jaws. For today's purposes, we're just demonstrating and showing you on the ProPress, the copper, um, to change these jaws out. You're going to push that pin in, give it a slight twist, and that jaw will come out. You can actually put that jaw in. It doesn't matter what direction it faces. Push that in, the pin collapses down, and it's locked in place and ready to run. The very nice ergonomics about this one is that trigger's got a little guide on it. So now you can actually open that jaw up to access it with one hand. You don't need two hands to be able to join it to your copper fitting. When you're going to use this tool, and you're going to do the copper, the pro press, you want to make sure that you mark the insertion depth on that fitting itself. So what we're going to do is push that fitting all the way down and then with a sharpie we're going to be able to mark that insertion depth, that gauge or insertion depth. You want to make sure that it's marked, it's required for it to be marked. You could if you wanted to pre-mark that tubing. We do have an insertion depth gauge, ProPress insertion depth gauge. So you can actually put that on that tubing and pre-mark your size. So for this, we're going to push it all the way down, make sure it's to the line, completely down. And we'll grab our tool and with the one hand, be able to joint, put it onto that fitting. And you're going to run that a full cycle. And when the tool retracts, that's when you know you're done. And that is a watertight connection. One other thing that you want to be aware of with these jaws is over time, Inside the jaws themselves, you can start to get a buildup of material from the fittings and the copper. These tools all come with a maroon, very fine Scotch-Brite pad. That's what you would use to clean that polish section off inside of the jaw itself. If you don't do that, you can get that buildup on it and it can create a fin on your fitting, as well as prematurely wear your jaws out because of that.